Okay, so a bunch of you guys have in the comment section keep asking me, hey, how do you sell a call? How do you sell a put? Like, what do you do here? So let's just say I pick a meme stop right here called United Airlines, you know, UAL. It's one of the highest paying premium stocks out there, so definitely check it out. So just go here, trade United Airlines options. Now, if you guys don't have this tab, it's simply because you probably have a very new account. Go to the settings, go to Robinhood and enable options trading. And once you do that, enable like, you know, spreads and all that stuff and you will start getting higher levels of options trading. So anyway, let's get back to the overall topic. Just click the options chain. And right now you can see here it's March 27th, which is today, let's do March 3rd and try to keep it as close as you can just so the expiration date will be much faster. Now keep in mind that pretty much most of these companies expire in one week with spy being the odd one out has an expiration date of about once every two days monday wednesday and fridays whereas other companies for example united airlines have expiration dates every single friday which is four days in a week which isn't that bad so instead of buying calls or buying puts which you know you might actually risk a lot of money and go to zero why not just start selling some calls or selling some puts so let's just say you have three thousand dollars burning in your pocket right now and you just deposit that into robin hood so let's say you want to pick this put right here instead of buying the put you're selling the put and you're going to be putting down a collateral of three thousand dollars because you're controlling 100 shares and 30 dollars strike times 100 dollars is three thousand dollars so you click this and just add this to your cart and continue and click one and so you can see it right here it will give you a 200 $36 premium. Yes, you get that money right away in your buying power and you have to put down $3,000 of collateral because if United Airlines dips below $30 to $29, you're forced to buy 100 shares of United Airlines at the $30 strike price even though the market says $29. But the good news is you get your keeper premium money. Now, you may be wondering, what if United Airlines during the expiration date in April 3rd, 4 p.m. is $31? Well, then you don't have to actually buy the shares. You get to keep the premiums and you can start the process all over again. So it's honest, pretty simple. Let's say you have $6,000, click two. So you have $6,000 locked into this collateral deal and you'll be paid $466. That's pretty sweet, honestly. That's like, you know, a month's rent in a small town like here in Lexington, Kentucky. So let's just say you got, you know, busted and you were forced to buy 100 shares of United Airlines at a $30 strike price. At least you get shares, which is honestly pretty sweet. If you are doing FDs or buying calls or puts, you might actually just go to zero, which is pretty much the worst thing that could happen. So if you are actually on the clock to buy the shares, don't worry, you could start selling covered calls. So the cool thing about covered calls and puts is because to sell puts, you have the money locked in as collateral. With the cover calls, you have your shares locked in instead of your money locked in. So that's why a lot of people sell puts and once they get a sign, they start selling calls. You can see right here, so you bought it at a $30 strike price. Make sure when you sell a cover call, it's at least one strike above the price that you paid for. Because if you pick something like $29 and the stock actually goes up, you're losing on potential attendees right here. So let's say I got it at $30 of 100 shares. I'm gonna sell it for $31, $32, or maybe even $33. If you click on this, for example, the $33 strike, which is $3 away from the price you bought it, you'll get paid $355 in premiums and that will go directly into Rawahun buying power, which could use it to buy food, booze, or pizza. So you may be wondering what happens if it goes above that strike to let's say $34. Well, then you're forced to sell the shares that you bought at $30 to the other guy at $33, even though the market says it's $34. You still make a pretty hot profit of $3 a share, but instead of making $3 a share, you could have been making $4 a share. So that's kind of like the price you pay for selling a covered call in a bull market. 
it does you don't lose any money it just depends on how much money you make so these are some really safe theta gain strategies which you guys could definitely be using to make some nice monthly income i'm guessing if you guys have like five thousand ten thousand dollars you could easily make at least a thousand dollars every single week by doing these strategies and by the way if you're selling puts and you like to have your cash locked in as collateral instead of shares which is honestly pretty smart you don't have to keep it so close to the share price. You could honestly make it pretty low, like $24 or $25. You know, you still get paid $100 per premium, which is honestly pretty sweet. And you could always pick some super unrealistic strike date, like $20, $15. And no way United Airlines is going to be dipping below $15 next week that's just utterly impossible i've never seen that before so you could always just make something super unrealistic if you're super paranoid of being assigned and even if you're assigned shares you could just simply sell some cover calls it's pretty good now one catch here is keep in mind make sure you pick a good company don't pick a company that is constantly going down don't pick exxon Mobil to sell cover calls that's because ExxonMobil in their five-year graph, they've been going down every single year. Buy a company that goes up every single year like Apple, Microsoft, Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, airlines and some cruises, stuff like that. Pick good companies. And really crazy thing is, let me show you guys something. So Google Class A, if you guys have $100,000 in your bank account, you guys could literally be making a living selling premiums. So let me show you guys right now. So sell some puts. And you can see here expiration is April 3rd, which is expiring week out. Just look at the premiums here. Look at how juicy these premiums. If you guys have a hundred grand in your bank account, you could actually lock in a thousand dollars to the strike price, put a hundred grand down as a collateral, and there you go. You get eleven hundred dollars in cold hard cash in your buying power. That is honestly pretty cool to me. And if you guys have a lot of money or you guys have 100 shares of a really valuable company, start selling cover calls. And hey, you might even be able to quit your day job someday. Thanks for watching. Comment below. If you guys still need a better explanation, definitely comment below. I'll try to get back to everyone. This is a really fantastic way for the homies to make some monthly income and just buy food, beer, or just pay your rent. Thanks for watching.